Before watching this video, click on the subscribe button. Ectoderma is also known as tocilizumab and atlizumab is an immunosuppressive drug that is mainly used for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Ectoderma is approved in almost 116 countries for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis that is a severe form of arthritis in children. Neuromelitis optica. Castleman's disease. Giant cells arthritis. Cytokine release syndrome. The FDA has formally approved phase 3 trial of ectoma in severely ill COVID-19 patients who have been hospitalized with pneumonia. The ectoma injection is available for intravenous or subcutaneous use. How Ectoderma works? It is a humanized monoclonal antibody against the interleukin 6 receptor. Interleukin 6 is a cytokine that is implicated in the pathogenesis of many diseases such as autoimmune disease, multiple myeloma, and prostate cancer. Interleukin 6 or IL 6 play a key role in activating the inflammatory pathway that contributes to the sign and symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis and other inflammatory autoimmune conditions. The very first ectoma binds to interleukin-6 receptors and blocks the pro-inflammatory effects of interleukin-6 cytokines. Contraindications The ectoma is contraindicated in the patients with known hypersensitivity to ectoma. Warnings and precautions The patients that are treated with ectoma are at increased risk to develop the serious infections that may lead to hospitalization or even death. Some of the common infections are including tuberculosis, bacterial infections, viral infections, invasive fungal infections, and other opportunistic infections. If the serious infection is developed, so stop taking ectoma until the infection is controlled. The active tuberculosis may present with pulmonary or extrapulmonary disease. So the patient should be tested for latent tuberculosis before ectoma use and during therapy. The ectoma treatment is not recommended in patients with active hepatic disease or hepatic impairment. Ectoma adverse reactions the most common adverse reactions were serious infections including pneumonia, cellulitis, urinary tract infections, herpes zoster, sepsis, bacterial arthritis, and gastroenteritis, diverticulitis, fever and chills gastrointestinal perforations, hepatoxicity, 
neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, elevated liver enzymes, lipid abnormalities, anaphylaxis, and hypersensitivity reactions.